Hey everybody. Um, I'm going to try the Epsom salt distilled water trick for uh, batteries. I've uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos. As you can see in the back, I'm a patrol sergeant. Uh, there's my little patrol wagon. Anyway, I work 12 hour shifts and we, we alternate from month to month working night shift and day shift. So, especially on night shift, I've got a lot of downtime usually, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. My wife started having problems with her battery on this uh, uh, lifted Jeep Cherokee. I don't know why I say Cherokee. It's a Commander. It's not, not a Cherokee. Lifted Jeep Commander. You don't see lifted ones very often. We've got a four inch lift on this running. Uh, 275 70 17 uh, BFG uh, KO2s. This is the new all terrain on stock wheels, but I do have two inch spacers on the wheels to get them out uh, flush with the vehicle uh, sides of the vehicle. Anyway, um, great little vehicle. Four wheel drive is awesome. It's actually got lockers from the factory in it when you're in low range. So it's a it's awesome little ride. But uh, anyway, the, the battery, it's 85 month battery that's in this, and this is the, the new battery. Um, I've got it, prepped it, getting ready to do this, but uh, it's the battery that comes stock with it. Um, so it's right now, it's dying. It's got 12, it's holding 12.53 volts um, when it's just sitting there with no load at all. Um, that was after a full charge. Uh, 12.53 and then I've got my multimeter on it when my wife goes to try to crank it and it drops all the way down into the 6 volt range uh, sometimes it cranks it and sometimes it don't um, and uh, you know it's just I hope it's not a dead cell but that's what it, I'm thinking it might be but anyway new battery for this rig is $145 so for 5 bucks I'm going to try this um, everybody says that it works YouTube videos say that it worked. Um, this is going to be real world. I'm not going to do anything because it, it doesn't matter to me one way or another. Of course, I'd like it to work, but, you know, I'm not going to lie on, on the YouTube and try to trick somebody into thinking it works if it don't. So what we've got, um, I completely drained the battery, dumped all the fluid out of it. Some people on YouTube are just adding teaspoons of Epsom salt and distilled water per sale i dumped all of the fluid out which i've seen one video on that and that's the way the guy said you had to do it to get the epsom salt to work so we're going that route i dumped it all out batteries prepped ready to uh ready to go um so i'm going to try it uh and just hang on we'll we'll be going around trying to get it done hey guys here's uh here's the battery as you can see i've dumped there is no fluid in it whatsoever um uh, all the cells are dry uh and looking into them, I don't really know what they're supposed to look like. Um, but uh, you can't see them. Anyway, this this cell and this cell appear, it looks like it's got rust in, down in it, that one and that one. I don't know what that is or why it looks the way it does, but anyway, it's, it's a bad battery regardless. So uh, we're going to either try to fix it or have to get another either way. Uh, there's, that's my little son. He is a. Uh, he thinks he's invisible, sitting on the couch with his uh, with his little camouflage on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's what we did. Um, one pound bag of Epsom salt. Um, put it in 24 ounces of water, and it's in a lot of different ways people were doing this. I just felt it'd be uh, faster and simpler to put it in a blender. 24 ounces of water, dump one pound bag in there, and went to blending. Uh, let it sit for about five minutes on uh, on blend, and turned it off. And when the uh, milky water went away, it uh, was all clear. So that's got a pound of Epsom salt in it, ground up in a blender. That's the easiest way I figured to do it. Uh, anyway, yeah, you're we're in the mountains of West North Carolina. We're in Nantahala Gorge, so obviously, yes, we do have a deep fryer sitting on my counter that we use a lot chicken fish um, extremely small turkey um, anyway and crock pot can't be a country house that crock pot anyway we're gonna try this I'm gonna take and take this out we're gonna go put it in a battery all right guys what I did was uh, I had um, I had 32 ounces of fluid of salt water Epsom salt distilled distilled water um 
and I put roughly five ounces in each cylinder, which is going to be 30 ounces. Um, that's a hillbilly math, but it works out sometimes. Um, and, you know, I had a couple ounces left over, so I just mixed it up. And now what I'm going to do, that's, that's a lot of salt. That is one pound of salt that got put in this battery. So now I'm just going to uh, take this and continue to fill up. All cells are full, so each cell will have roughly the same amount of Epsom salt distilled water solution. All right, guys, filled it up. Um, of course, we'll leave the caps on. We'll put it on a trickle charge. That's um, I've got a one for my motorcycles. It's a, just a battery tender. I think it's a 0 .7, 750 milliliters or milliamps. So it's a, a 0.75 amps is what the charge is going on. And I'm going to leave it on there, uh, says for uh, two to three days on that slow trickle charge, or until it's showing charged, you know, I'm going to do, uh, try to put it on the slowest I can for as long as I can. Uh, tell you how big that battery is, it took four, this pitcher completely full, and it's uh, anywhere from 40 to 44 ounces, uh, four of those to fill this battery up, so uh, it's a lot of juice. Anyway, let's go hook it up. Okay, guys, got it out here in my shed. Um, I've got it, got it plugged up. Uh, just alligator clips. It's fused. Goes into a little trickle charger, and you can see it's just a just a regular battery tender. Um, it's seven point or seven hundred fifty milliamps, which is uh, three quarters of an amp, point seven five. Um, and I'm gonna leave it on there for, uh, you know, has, it surprised me that it even started charging. I was afraid that. Um, it just wouldn't even charge since there's absolutely no voltage or anything at all. Um, so, you know, we're just going to try it and see. Uh, see what we can come up with. This is uh, in my little shed. Of course, this is my little, this is my little adventure bike, DRZ 400. I've got uh, ever mod, basically, you can you can think of on. Uh, big tank, progressive suspension. I know this is not a motorcycle video, but hey, I love bikes. Uh, Concourse 1400 got the ZX 1400 engine because so I've got the Power Commander 4 or excuse me Power Commander 5 in it 40 horse flash um, I've got the Two Brothers exhaust all that all that good stuff on it. They've got a backrest for my wife on there and yeah, it's using it for a bench as well <laughs> Got some stuff, but uh anyway got old old uh, 1985 fat cat back here that that thing absolutely runs perfect absolutely um of course i'm gonna buy you got motorcycles in the corner uh my little girl's bike um i got a couple more bikes in the uh parts there's one parts bike um anyway i'm gonna try this out gonna see what we can come up with i will let you guys know i'm gonna let this charge two to three days and uh Maybe more if it'll keep charges whenever it's going to show me a green light. And at that point, I'll put the multimeter on it, see what we got, and we'll go out and throw it in a vehicle and see see how bad it loses uh, on a load. So I'll, I'll get back to you in part two and let you know.